hit that next target. This is an update in technical analysis on Protina Corporation, a company in the healthcare sector and biotechnology here off the daily interval. I had mentioned uh, the 21st of February, 2023, we we're trading spot price 50, 55, 51. Uh, I had mentioned uh, it would be an objective short trade entry, a, a great uh, objective short trade entry amongst this key primary downtrend line, multiple reactionary highs to help validate that with the 50 day moving average called a triple line inflection point of resistance coinciding with the 54, 51 price resistance up above a great short trade setup for any swing short sellers. Uh, and that was rejected uh, really with a uh, uh, velocity uh, right off that key functioning level, ended up rallying right back up, double tagged it, ended up back testing the second time uh, and never looked back in the entirety of this trade it was good for good for a 19% crash there. And uh, just to take away some of the lines, we have completely uh, taken out the 50 exponential and 50 day moving average, where we even kind of slightly back tested it, uh, played around, consolidated about, about around it and completely got rejected on one single day. And, and to this day, never really had a, a counter trend rally. Uh, came in short to shy of uh, re-tagging or back testing it. Never looked back, hit my first key functioning level. We have massive volume at price indication around this key uh, trading range. And we have, uh, have only been building for a, a very long, unique time with huge massive negative and bearish divergences constructed on all three four indicators here uh with uh breakdowns below their oscillator uh and the moving average convergence now so just uh, more uh, damage occurring uh, with amongst all three indicators uh right back on gap support and we're trending on gap support now now the gap support we have the 200 day moving average hovering down below ho ho hovering down below uh, with the gap so we completely take the gap out uh, and coinciding with the 200 day moving average, I would expect a pretty sizable, powerful move to the downside, uh, especially taking out that 4520 price support. Pretty big key level to watch, in my opinion. Uh, bull traders and or dip buyers, long traders, they need to defend that heavily at all costs. Uh, call it a dual line of support. And I could even see a potential flag playing out where you have your first, in, first initial uh, laid down of 20%. Uh, followed by another uh, top of 20% uh, off that bear flag. And you'd uh, darn near be hitting that uh, 4036 really to the close to the bud in there. Call it a, uh, a, a perfectly aligned uh, bear flag continuation pattern down to that 4036 price support would be ideal uh, for a next trade move if this uh, ends up coiling out uh, to be uh, some sort of a uh, bear flag continuation pattern, which would look something like this. And it's, it is gearing up uh, in that direction uh, and a beautiful uh, move to the downside uh, in a bearish continuation pattern of that nature usually will happen uh, pretty quickly so again dip buyers bull traders they need to defend this uh, key level at all cost here uh big inflection point huge momentum shift just uh, again a big key inflection point uh, that has all eyes and traders on right now but i can tell you this a move of this magn magnitude could definitely well suit uh these uh, momentum indicators that have continued to consolidate and build since october of 2022 so just a such a big key inflection point big point to watch 47.85 needs to be held and especially the bottom uh, of that flagpole neckline of the flag so we'll see what happens um keep you updated huge gap volume price uh gap zone in this area which could indicate a big chunk move with an extreme rush for the exits uh as far as them been buying anybody who's bought an up above a 54 51 uh, spot price is already down underwater but a good 20 percent. so another big move to the downside would be a very quick rush for the exits